Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. Over the past few months, I've been really digging into the Psalms, and the Psalms are a blessing to my heart. They're a blessing to my soul. Today, we're going to be in Psalm 19, another Psalm of David, and it is a true blessing to me, and I hope that it will be a blessing to you. It's amazing to me that when you read in Genesis that God created us, He created us in His own image. The Bible says that he put his lips on our nostrils and breathed the breath of life into our bodies. And so today, I want you to understand what God's word tells us in Psalm 19. God's word tells us that he knows us, he created us, but it also tells us that we can know him. And we can know him in two different ways. We can know him because of general revelation. He reveals himself to us through nature, through creation. But we can also know God through special revelation, and that is his word, his written word, and his living word, which is Jesus. And so as we read Psalm 19 today, think about God's revelation. He reveals himself to us generally and specially. So listen to this, Psalm 19, beginning in verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. I don't know about you, but I love waking up in the morning and looking out to that eastern sky and seeing the sun come up. It's so bright. It gives out so much warmth. And also at night, when you walk out uh, outside on a clear night and you look up in the sky and you see all of the stars, the stars that are shining brightly, the stars that are twinkling in the sky, God created that. And God created the sun in its glory. He created the stars and the moon, and he created everything. And everything cries out to the glory of God. And so you and I, we can know God personally and intimately because of his general revelation. He reveals himself to us through creation and through nature. And that's what David is telling us right here in Psalm 19. But that's not all. David goes on and he says this beginning in verse 7. He says, the law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them, your servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So David tells us in Psalm 19 verses 1 through 6 that we can know God through his creation, through nature, general revelation. And now David tells us in verses 7 through 14 of Psalm 19 that we can know God because of special revelation, his word, his written word. God speaks to us and God tells us who he is and God tells us how much he loves us. He tells us our purpose and he tells us how we can live and that it will be refreshing to our soul. His word is refreshing to our soul. His commands and his precepts give joy to our hearts. We can know God intimately and personally through his written word, through special revelation. We can also know God through Jesus. When you look in the New Testament, Jesus tells his disciples, if you know me, then you know my Father because we are one. 
I just think it's amazing that God created us in his image. God breathed the breath of life into our bodies. And he didn't just drop us off on the earth and then leave, never to speak to us again, never to reveal himself to us. No, God speaks to us. God wants us to know him. God wants us to know him personally and intimately. God wants us in a loving relationship. And, and I'm just amazed by that. And so today I thank God for the sun, the moon, the stars, the clouds, and the sky. I thank God for all of his creation that cries out to his glory and to his honor. But I also thank God for his word. I thank God for the Bible, that he speaks to us through his word, that he allows us to know him intimately through what he says in his word. And I thank God for Jesus, the word that became flesh the word that lived out loud his great love for us. And so today I pray that this word gives you encouragement. I pray that it gives you strength. And I pray that it will be a blessing to you. Today, when you look out into the sky, if the sun is out there shining brightly, thank God for it. When you go to bed tonight, before you go to bed, look outside and look at those stars hanging in the sky, the brightness, the beauty. Just go outside and look at nature. Listen to the birds chirp and sing and Maybe at some point today, open up God's word. Look at what it says. Hear what he's telling you. I pray today that you will honor God with your life, and I pray today that your life will be a thanksgiving offering to him. I thank God for creating me in his image, for breathing life into my body, and I thank God for allowing me to know him personally and intimately through general revelation and special revelation. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next week in Wednesday in the Word.